We're looking at the, uh, the SICK multi-pack today. This is a very versatile sensor, allowing us to detect bottles on production lines. So um, the features here is we're able to detect a difficult presence detection uh, of, of a bottle similar to this. Now we've got the clear plastic and also the clear bottle and um, we're uh, very clearly and easily able to detect that. So now we're looking at the leading edge accurately detected and the trailing edge accurately detected without any change or adjustment in the multi-pack sensor. Now we'll just change over to a uh, smaller bottle. Now the idea is for uh, versatility, the, uh, the customer can detect a new product line, a, a product changeover, without having to make any adjustments to their sensor. So once again, we've got a, um, a difficult to detect uh, application. Um, we're looking at a clear, now we're looking at a very dark object which is lower and we're still able to uh, clearly detect this with the, the SICK multi-pack. So what we're looking at is an accurate edge for bottling and production line applications. Uh, here we've got the versatile multi-pack sensor. So we're picking up on a very accurate edge, trailing edge, to allow the process to handle the bottles in an appropriate way. So here we're demonstrating the, uh, the multi-line sensor. Uh, the multi-line sensor is uh, designed for difficult sensing applications where we have uh, film or crinkles and um, shiny product or film products. So uh, we'll run through the um, different options here. So here we're looking at a stock cube with uh, imperfections on the surface, which typically we would see a flicker in the output but uh, just to demonstrate the multi-pack has a very stable signal across a very um, uh, inconsistent surface. So again with a, um, a wrapped product where we have um, many different angles and uh, uh, shiny surfaces of the white and the black, we have a very constant stable signal from the multi-line sensor here. Now onto another typical application which is uh, difficult to sense, a very shiny foil, um, in particular this coffee, uh, often with a lot of graphics and uh, difficult to uh, detect um, uh, with a very stable signal. The multi-line here once again displays a very stable signal across the entire package of the shiny foil and um, high graphics content packaging. So this is an array sensor to actually detect, uh, so it's detecting across to the reflector. Okay, and uh, we're utilizing this to show uh, uh, possible difficult to detect applications. Now, um, in this sort of scenario, we would typically put a number of sensors in case we were to uh, have um, issues with seeing through the holes. But with the array sensor, we, we have a, an array of sensors built into one sensor and we detect um, objects with holes. Or I've got one more sample in here. So here we're demonstrating an array sensor that um, if we have a uh, object which is uh, damaged perhaps, or has an edge which is lifted above the datum point, which would be the conveyor, uh, we're still detecting the leading edge of the sensor with the array sensor. Um, this would be the typical operation. It would be flat but quite often what we have is um, we have uh, pallets or objects which have uh, rising edges and a sensor, a typical sensor would look underneath that and we wouldn't have a detection to this point here. With the array sensor we pick up the leading edge and we have a very secure leading edge switch point every time.